So if you don't know my name, my name is Kathy, um, and welcome back to Santa Marta Designs. We're going to decorate this Dollar Tree orange putrid pumpkin and make it a nice white and black buffalo check. We're going to add some little leaves. We might add some raffia. We have some jute cord, so we're going to make it look really cute. So let's get started because we have 30 minutes. So that's always our hope. Look at this. Like they just stick a tag in the middle of the pumpkin so that it can just get gouged, right? Oh boy, so you're going to want to take this top off. I'm going to take this top off. It's just stuck in with a little toothpick and glue. So we'll just put that aside. And what we're going to do, um, I do have my X-Acto knife, but so do, don't do as I do. Do as I say. If you have a, maybe a styrofoam knife, do that. But I'm just going to cut through the center here. Doesn't sound very great. So this is hollow on the inside. It's not a solid styrofoam because otherwise it wouldn't be a dollar. So we know styrofoam is pretty expensive. So we're just going to get all that junk aside. I'm going to get this stuff aside. So this is more like trimmings for after along with the leaves. So we're going to put that stuff aside. Let's work with this. So this is basically almost a fabric quarter. I just cut it out from uh, some fabric that I have. And if you're a crafter or, and anybody that does anything, you probably have leftover pieces of things. So this is great to do that. And even if you had like half and half of something, you could join two pieces together and do like a half and half pumpkin. So I have extra, but so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna end up cutting um, the extra off before I put this in here because then it's going to get too bulky So I just made a big cut because I didn't really know how much we were going to need So I'm just going to kind of make a little round trim here Because I'm not going to need as much Okay And again, I don't want to make it very bulky So we're going to need this fabric and I'm going to use some hot glue and we can also as very well um, make this hole a little bit bigger but I don't want to because we're going to end up making our own little stem that goes here. We're not going to use this sad looking little little stem there. Um, so this fits nicely in here. I just wanted to test that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some glue to the inside of that pumpkin just so the fabric doesn't start popping out or anything. Okay. Pop in, sprinkle the love if you wouldn't mind. I haven't had a chance. So see, when I bring this one over, I know it's gonna be too long, so I'm just gonna cut on this angle too. And we're gonna, we're gonna do this in steps. So I just wanted to make sure how big I wanted to cut my side here. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of cut, it doesn't have to be perfect because as you can see, I am nowhere near cutting perfect or straight. So we don't need that little piece. So when I do this, I like to kind of pull each piece in at a time and almost create like this little pleat as I go. Now, if you're worried about the orange showing through, you can always paint your pumpkin first, but I just find that's like a waste of material um, and supplies, so I don't go ahead and uh, paint it first, is what it is. I mean, it's only like a slight tint of orange, so if you're using a darker color fabric, then you won't even have a problem. So I'm just going to kind of try and keep shoving in my fabric here, and I'm going to continue to put glue as well. Be sure to have like a couple extra glue sticks on hand. Cut a little extra off of this. And we're going to stick that in there. Okay. Perfect. So we have our little pumpkin wrapped. Okay. Now, what I'm going to use, oh, I forgot to take that out. I have some extra burlap here. Okay. Now you could use um, some sticks. Like I could take, I have a bunch of sticks here. We could cut these up and make like a little bundle of sticks too. 
and put that in as I'm trying to grab the straight pieces here. We'd cut that one off. Um, we could make a little bundle of sticks. Do you want to use a little bundle of sticks or you guys want to do the burlap? So you guys let me know. Burlap or bundle of sticks? Because I could cut these up real quick. That's not the problem. And I've got extra sticks over here. We were actually using them for a different project, but with fall happening right now, all the, all the branches and twigs and things are coming down anyways. So I'm just trying to see how big I want it. Mm, so probably about there. So I could cut these around here. They don't have to all be the same size either. Okay, so see that? We can use that as our little inside there. And I think that's a little too big actually. We're going to have to trim this down a little bit. What we're going to do is actually what I'd like to do before we start doing that is I'm just going to add in a little bit of hot glue and just be careful that you don't get your hands. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue and try to get these bundled a little bit more together so that they're not falling all over my hands. Got a stray. And we can put that one back in. Right there. Sounds good. So I wouldn't worry that they're like uneven because as you can see, some are a little bit smaller than the others. That's okay. So this was just at least a little bit better way for them to stick together before we try to put some of the cord on. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a nice fresh coat of glue around the sticks again. And then I'm going to start putting some cord around here. Okay. Just watch your fingers. Sorry, I had to pull it close to me because I couldn't see where the glue was. I didn't want to glue my fingers. Okay. And so if you are using burlap instead, oh, just got my finger. Um, if you were using burlap, what you'd want to do is probably just cut a little piece off of this, maybe like about six inches. You could fold it in half and then just do a curl with it, a roll, just roll it on your tabletop. I, um, I always let everyone know I use a mask when working with burlap, so if I were to unroll this and start playing with it, I would definitely go ahead and put a mask on because of the fibers. Okay, so let's just add a good amount of glue on the bottom of that, alright? And we're going to stick that little guy right in there. Okay, so we're going to hold that down for just a minute while that glue hardens. But then we're going to come in here with these leaves. We're going to cut this little plastic part off. We're going to come in here with these leaves. And then what we're also going to do is come in here with this raffia. Now, I already had like this little pre-made bow. Um, so we can add the bow or we can just take some loose strands and kind of wrap it and then just let it hang. So we can get to that in just a second. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that this isn't going to wobble on us. I think that's sufficiently held there. So let me just get our real twigs out of the way. We're going to cut this maybe right there. So it's got a little tiny stick left, but not much. Okay, I just don't want this big, huge piece of plastic hanging off. Uh, I'm going to grab another glue stick because I know we're getting low. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of that leaf and just stick that in there. Okay. Okay. 
All right, and then I'm going to stick this one kind of like a little bit of an overlay, but not too much. Okay. Let me know if I, as I go along, if you have any questions. I'm getting glue webs all over me. I should have put some hand cream on. <laughs> you guys will see my hands so dry. Okay, so let's see. We could add our little bow. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is add just probably some raffia strands. Let's see what it looks like when we, this one's got a little bit of a wrap. There we go. Trying to find the end sometimes is, so see what I did there? I didn't wrap it perfect. All I did was come down here on the bottom and then just kind of wrapped it along there. All right, and if you're if it tends to um, kind of want to sag down, you can just hit it with a little tiny bit of hot glue and keep that raffia where you want it. Just let it set for a second. Okay. And I love playing around with this because it's just like natural type materials so you can either cut it or you can let it hang I'm trying to see where I want to let it hang I might make a smaller bow Let's see if we can do a smaller bow That one was going to be too small. Okay, so this would be our smaller bow. And we can just put that down on the bottom there. Cut this piece off. Oh, my scissors are tangled. this piece off and we're going to glue this guy right in there. Ooh. Don't glue it over the table. And how do you like that? Here's our fabric pumpkin. Dollar Tree pumpkin turned farmhouse style pumpkin. 